Trying to get out of bounds, can't do so, and he picked up a yard. Good defensive play that time by Sean Ford. Second time out, or third time out, rather. Called by Tri West. Just a quick, quick pass out to the wideout, hoping that maybe he could break a tackle and uh, get some yardage. And Carroll had that played really well. Coach, we talk so much about momentum, and certainly Carroll came out and was ready to play, and Tri West was not at the beginning of this ball game, but going to the locker room, not only leading by a point in the scoreboard right now, but Tri West has the momentum. Carroll's going to have to regroup at halftime and come out and play like they did at the beginning of this football game. Yeah, I think they're going to have to just uh, go back to the things that got them the touchdowns to begin with. They've made some some mistakes penalty wise on their offensive uh, team that hurt them on the one on the third time that they had the football so I think they're going to have to just go back and take a look at what got them the two touchdowns to start with and uh, it's it's really key for them to shut Tri West down on this series because they do get the ball to start the second half and you know you when you go in at halftime if you're even uh, you don't feel too bad because you're going to get the ball and you fear well there's a score and that puts us up a touchdown but if they give up a touchdown here, uh, that just gets them back even with a touchdown to start it. So this is really a, cre a key series for them. Two receivers to the top of the screen. Now David Kett goes in motion out of the eye. Four receivers out on the pattern. Firing it downfield is Crouch, and it's picked off by Frank Vega. Vega can run the football. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. He's got one man to beat, and he's going to knock him out of bounds. The quarterback, Jeremiah Crouch, took him down at the 25-yard line. Well, Crouch has been intercepted 12 times coming into this ball game, and there he threw it right to Frank Vega. Yeah, Frank, Frank Vega was just dropping into the middle zone area, and we've already seen him on offense, so he's turned offense in a hurry, and he's just running through people. And a big play by Jeremiah Crouch to get him knocked out of bounds. 22 seconds to play, and Carroll still has all of its timeouts. Frank Vega, we've already talked about him offensively, defensively. He leads this Carroll team in tackles with 140. They're a big interception to stop a Tri-West drive and give Carroll a chance at a score before the half. Back to throw his hood. Pressure, and he's going to be sacked back at the 35-yard line. Ron Smith was there. So was Kevin Jones. Carroll calls a timeout. I think this has been the big difference in Tri-West from that opening quarter to this quarter. Their defensive ends are getting upfield and putting some pressure on the quarterback and here a big sack to take him out of field goal range. Check that. It was Matt Pendleton in there with Ron Smith that time. And exactly right. The pressure came from the outside, but uh, not a lot of room for Hood to step up in the pocket and avoid it either. 13 seconds now left to play. And It'll be second down and about 19, the nine-yard loss all the way back to the 35-yard line. Ron Smith on the season, 12 sacks. He's uh, gotten in there a couple times. He's been in the face of Matt Hood about every time he's tried to throw the football. So with a couple plays left here in the half, Carroll may uh, decide to go to the back couple pages of the playbook and try to pull something out of here. I think, Carol, really what they would like to do, I would think, would be to get somewhere inside the 25 if they can get about 10 yards on a play here and then go for the field goal attempt. They do have a good kicking game. Hood fires. He's got a man, and it's inside the 20, and he's going to be brought down in the field of play at the 24-yard line. Mike Lowe on the reception, and Carroll uses the timeout. So as you said, Coach, they take the short pass with two seconds left in the half. Complete it down to the 24. Be a 41-yard field goal attempt if they elect to do it from here. That looks like what they're going to try and do.
So on to attempt the field goal. For an exchange student. Dennis Mogensen. Before our game, John had told me that uh, th this kid had kicked a 60-yarder in practice. So he does have some range. And this will be about a 41-yarder. Put a second back on the clock. Three seconds. Shouldn't make a difference here on the field goal attempt. Be kicking it from the right hash mark. The holder, Alan McCarty, will put it down right at the 30, so call it a 40-yard attempt. Running through a few of the stats. First of all, for Carroll, the leading rusher, Frank Vega, 12 carries for 40 yards. Passing the football, quarterback Matt Hood is 5 of 7 for 29 yards. Leading receiver is McCarty, he has two catches for 18 yards, also two catches for uh, Hamilton as well. For Tri West, David Catt, six carries, 29 yards, throwing the football. Quarterback Jeremiah Crouch is four of nine for 96 yards, and the kickoff going to Hamilton, and Kyle Hamilton's going to be taken down at the 25-yard line, and that's where Carroll will start the second half of play. Cougars won the toss to begin the ball game, but deferred, so Carroll will start the second half with the football. Tri West does a great job in kick coverage on these kickoffs. They've done a good job of creating piles and not giving lanes for the backs of Carroll to run through. I know that was one of the things we didn't do a very good job against Carroll in our eighth game.